Hi everyone, I'm Nate. I'm a sponsor player from G-Squared Yo-Yos and today uh, is another review of Nate Reviews Yo-Yos. So clever, I know. Today I am going to be reviewing the Radical Seas Oracle. So this is my review of the Oracle. The first section of these reviews is always going to be in the hand before I actually throw the yo-yo. What does it look like? What does it feel like in the hand? Uh, what are some of the specs and so on? So throughout this section you'll see all the specs of the yo-yo pop up throughout. You'll also find the specs, all the specs and details and other details about the yo-yo in the description uh, box as well. So check that out. You'll find the website for Radical C's, where to buy them, what the retail price. So a couple things first and foremost. Uh, this, it actually, the Oracle comes in two different varieties. Uh, it, they're both 7075 aluminum, the body, but the rings, this is a bimetal yo-yo, um, are either brass or copper. The one I have is brass, so it's slightly lighter, so it's half a gram. Uh, lighter than the copper version of it. Now, I haven't had a chance to play the copper version, so I don't know really if that half gram makes too much of a difference. I'd be interested to see if you've played that version, you've played this one as well, if you know that there's a little bit difference in playability. So if you've played both of them, I would love to see your comments on that uh, in the comment section below. And so uh, first thing first, uh, these the Oracle comes in some great solid colors. Um, I haven't seen any splashes or anything uh, beyond just solids with this yo-yo yet. I have the green one here, it's beautiful. And it has a pretty, um, you know, pretty simple uh, laser engraving. I could take or leave laser engravings. Um, typically I like a pretty clean yo-yo, but these ones don't really seem to bother me too much. You have the Oracle labeled there, and then you also have the Radical C's logo there, just really small with this nice little shape there, okay? Geometric shape. So it's, it's, yeah, it's, pretty, um, it's pretty clean. I like those solid colors. I like solid color yo-yos in general. Um, that's what pretty much it looks like when it's spinning anyways. Um, sorry to break it to you, but that's what it looks like, you know, generally. Um, so even all those splashes and all those fades and everything, they all blend to one color. Um, who would have thought? And so, you know that this is going to be the same color when it spins. Have, uh, the shape of this yo-yo is um, considered, I would definitely consider this an H-shaped yo-yo, uh, where you have, it's pretty smooth. Um, it's an organic sort of H-shape. You don't have this deliberate step into the H-shape at all. Uh, the edges of it are very nice and smooth, rounded. You're not going to really catch, hit that on a catch really too hard in your hand uh, when it's coming back. It's pretty hefty. Um, you know, I, I, on paper it's not it's not insanely heavy. It feels heavy. That H shape, I believe in a good H shape yo-yo is always going to push as much weight to the rims as possible. When you pick up this yo-yo, you feel that. Like right away, if you hold it in the center, you're going to feel that weight push to the edge. And so to me, right away before I even throw it, I can tell a little bit how it's going to play. Um, and for me, that, that's a good thing. If you're going to make an H shape yo-yo, take advantage of that. And so this really does push that weight to the rims. And, and part of that does help that you have those brass uh, rings that are inserted in there. Um, taking it apart, uh, we have standard 19 millimeter uh, pads here. Uh, we have a center track bearing. It's nice and smooth, um, nice and quiet on this. As far as in the hand itself, it's a nice comfortable shape. Uh, this, is, this would be considered a full size yo-yo. I have pretty large hands, I'm 6'2", so it feels feels good in my hands. I don't feel like it would be too big for somebody who's not quite fully grown or has a little smaller hands. So center track bearing uh, is what comes in at standard as well. I like center tracks, I have no problem with this one. Let's go ahead and see how it plays on the string.
All right, folks, let's go ahead and see what this yo-yo feels like on the string. All right, so I've been playing this yo-yo for about two weeks or so now, maybe a little longer. Like I said, in the hand section, this is an H-shaped yo-yo, and right away you can tell how much weight has really been intentionally pushed to the rims. And again, that's because a lot of it has to do with it being a bimetal, and you can push that weight because of those weight rings to the edge. That's If a bimetal doesn't do that, I don't see the point. Um, if it's not making it more stable, if it's not pushing more rim, rim weights, then I don't see the point in having a bimetal in the first place. That, to me, is kind of the sole purpose. Um, so, trying to understand, I mean, how, how to describe this yo-yo and how it plays. First off, it's super stable. Um, really not having any problems with it uh, kind of falling off, you know, offline here. Um, it's got killer, kill, um, seriously, killer uh, spin times. I'd be curious to see, I haven't tried, tested it out myself, but how long is just a sleeper time on this yo-yo? I would venture to guess if somebody hasn't tried it yet already, that you're probably going to get good 10 minute sleeper times of more than that on this if you give a nice hard spin to it. Um, it's pretty intense. Very comfortable in the hand, that H shape. Like I said, with that in the hand, you're, and now playing it, you're not really going to get a hard catchy. Even when it's spinning nice and hard, it's it's never going to snap back and be like, oh man, that is intense. All right, I don't really do horizontal, but uh, I'll give it a go here and kind of show you some of the stability. Um, and it, that's one of the things that somebody had mentioned in the first video I did. Hey, can you show some horizontal? All right, I'm not the person for this necessarily, but I can do a little bit. And uh, just to kind of show you the idea of how stable it really is. Yeah. Whoops. See, told you. I told you. See? <laughs> um, that's not the yo-yo. Uh, that, that would be me. Oh, uh, I got a bearing wrap. The surface on this isn't, it's not completely flat from what I can kind of feel there's a little bit of a dome here and so as far as like if you're thinking oh, okay it's flat I can do finger spins which you can, um, it's just not going to be long by the time it starts wobbling out. If that was flat I feel like you could have probably get in there or even it was dome the other way of course. Um, not every yo-yo needs to be finger spin. I mean, People freak out about that. I mean, you can you can do it for a while. I mean, there's no problem with that. But it's eventually going to hit that, and it's not going to really center. I'm, when I'm finger spinning, I'm hitting right about right there. And so, uh, once it starts getting to the center, um, that gap in there is going to be able to, you know, hold a bunch of string wraps without feeling like because of that H shape. Um, there's really not much of a wall there at all. And so you're going to be able to do multiple wraps without it really affecting the play at all. Not a light yo-yo, and I wouldn't say that it zips through um, like super fast, but you have, you feel like you have control of it. Um, for me, that's a great balance between not being too heavy and feeling like a rock and being too light and kind of feeling like you have no control of the yo-yo at all. So in tricks like this, where it's, it's dropping down and I'm pulling up, um, I don't feel like it's going thud. On some yo-yos that are really kind of heavy, um, or too heavy or way too centered, um, all the weights in the center. Because again, it's what it looks on paper doesn't mean that's how it's going to play. Um, this yo-yo, because that weight distribution is way more on the rims, it's not super floaty, um, it's not super uncontrollable, it just is going to go through and the, your tricks and you're gonna know where it's going. I feel like you have full control over what's happening with this yo-yo. All right, my overall opinion of this yo-yo. Um, I've played quite a few bimetals recently, um, and this would be far by far one of the top uh, bimetals that I've played. It's a good price point. It's not gonna break the bank as far as most bimetals right now. I believe, again, this is in the 120 range. And so uh, the copper version, I believe, is a little bit more. Go check out Radical Seas. They're putting out some really good stuff. Um, and this bimetal Oracle is certainly one to check out as far as bimetals and a yo-yo right now. So go check them out. Hope you enjoyed my review of the Radical Seas Oracle.